Hi book nerds, I'm Travis and this is Travis Reads Books. Today I'm going to do a review of Every Exquisite Thing by Matthew Quick. This is a beautiful book about a girl named Nanette O'Hare. The story follows her and several other characters as their lives intersect in ways involving an old out-of-print book called The Bubblegum Reaper. Interestingly, if you take the dust jacket off the book, you get to see what the Bubblegum Reaper looked like. Nanette is a tragic character. She's smart and likable, but somehow she cannot stop making bad decisions. It can be painful to read as you mentally implore her not to do whatever she's about to do. But of course, she always does it anyway. Nanette meets an eclectic group of people through their connection to the mysterious book, but they are all just as damaged as Nanette. As they all interact and try to figure out who they really are, it's unclear whether the Bubblegum Reaper, which encourages individuality and a rebellious outlook on life, is actually helping any of them, or if it's actually setting them on a path of anger and violence. There's a mystery at play as well, involving the author of the book, and the question of whether or not the book was even a work of fiction at all. There's a lot of YA books that deal with depression, but few authors capture the destructive and sometimes violent effects depression can have on people's lives. Matthew Quick puts that destruction and violence on display and examines it with a magnifying glass. People are hurt, lives are ruined. This is a dark story, but it's not without levity. Nanette's cleverness and wit keep the story from becoming too mired in its own misery. Bob Marley's Spiced Root Light Roast Pretty good. There's an uplifting aspect to the story as well. The idea that the ultimate goal of self-actualization is an attainable one, even if a storybook-style happy ending for everyone isn't. If I have one criticism of the book, it's one that applies to most of Matthew Quick's novels. It's that all these characters, who are suffering from debilitating mental illness issues, and not one of them considers medication as an aid to help them sort out their problems. Self-actualization is great, and it can do a lot of good for someone who's suffering, but I couldn't help thinking as I read the book that a few prescriptions of Zoloft could have prevented some really terrible things from having happened. Also, I generally hate chapter titles, like hate, hate them, but this book has some fantastic ones. Titles like Let's Plug In Our Phones and Sleep Together, and Using the Same Basement You Were Currently Locked Away In. The book also has brief excerpts from the Bubblegum Reaper from time to time, as well as a selection of poems written by one of the secondary characters. These make for a nice bit of narrative variety and help provide context for the actions of some of the other characters. Overall, this is a fantastic book, and I really can't recommend it enough. I've never been disappointed picking up a Matthew Quick novel, and this one is no exception. Well, that was my review, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any reviews in the future. You can follow me on Twitter at Travis Reads. If you like Funko Pops, you can follow me on Instagram at Travis West where I post hundreds of pictures of Funko Pops and other fun toys. If you have a request for a book you'd like me to review, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, love and respect, I'll see you next.